Meet Mbasa. He lives in Namanul, a village in sub-Saharan Africa. As a mechanic and welder, he has problems to develop his business since no reliable power source is available to him. Like so many in sub-Saharan Africa, he relies on an old diesel generator to produce electricity for his machines, but it's unhealthy and very expensive. A single solar tainer provides up to 4,000 people, which include 400 households, 40 commercial customers, and 10 communal facilities with affordable electricity, drinking water, and internet access. With a funded and installed solar tainer in Amanu, Mbasa will access to a cheap and reliable source of energy, the sun. He will be able to expand his business, buy new machines, and hire employees to help him out. Because of the stable and cheaper energy access, people will start to invest, build stores, develop their businesses, be creative, be productive, create jobs and so participate to the economic growth of the village. This will create the opportunity for the villagers to stay, live and prosper in their own village. And so they won't have to flee anymore. The economy in Amano will be growing and so the need for a financial system will become a reality. Unfortunately, no banking services are offered in Amanu, which are needed to support the increasing economic growth. Mobile money systems are expensive and highly centralized by mobile phone corporations. So to boost the long-term economic growth, we decided to lay the ground for a blockchain-based decentralized energy-backed token economy. The blockchain is a decentralized database that enables peer-to-peer -peer transaction in form of tokens. It's transparent, secure, and once recorded, immutable. Smart contracts are simple programs on top of the blockchain, which allow for automating process through defined conditions. This way, the smart contract becomes a transparent and impartial intermediary between parties. Fatumata will be a successful ice vendor. She will use electricity from the solar tainer to produce ice. Just like any other customer in the village, she will get a loyalty token in her wallet in proportion to her electricity consumption. Villagers will decide which kind of consumption is more valuable for their community. And so, Fatumata could receive more tokens for the use of her freezer than watching TV. This will incentivize customer to get a new wallet and to use electricity in a productive and efficient way. With this village token, she will be able to buy a fixed and guaranteed amount of electricity at any time from the solar panel. This way, the token gains a fixed and guaranteed value. So she will be able to accept it as a payment from her customer because she will know that she could buy electricity with it or purchase something from someone else who also needs electricity. As soon as the token is implemented and accepted in each village, she would even be able to send the token to a farmer instantly to order some corn for her business or to help her sister out. Through the blockchain, third parties could be enabled to interact with the villagers. For example, businesses and certificate network for fair trade or organic food have a high interest in transparent, trackable and immutable product history. This way, additional services and revenue models for the villagers could come to life. Now, imagine the impact of the installation of the Sun Protocol in dozens, hundreds of villages with a decentralized, self-determined token economy. This is exactly our vision. We want to deliver the basis for a decentralized, self-determined token economy in African villages with solar power and blockchain technology. We are the Sun Protocol. If you have any question, just leave a comment. To learn more, feel free to go on our website, thesunprotocol.io, and join the movement to the sun.